Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's May 27, 2010. Well, we got a reaction this morning that's going to support markets. We're going to be higher here in the grains uh, pretty much across the board. Uh, the dollar has uh, settled back. We're uh, 30 to 40 lower there as we speak. Crude oil sharply higher again this morning, up 150 plus. Uh, gold is down slightly, but the stock market's expected to open uh, sharply higher. The Dow futures are indicating right now we could open the Dow anywhere from 100 to 150, or 150 to actually 160 higher. So uh, news uh, from China again making the uh, the big impact on financial markets here this morning. As yesterday there was rumors that China was going to pull out of its in holdings in the eurozone. That has been denied by China that they have no intention of uh, uh, moving any investments out of the eurozone and that is uh, adding some stability to the euro currency here this morning in turn putting a little pressure on the dollar. Uh, how's that affecting grains? Grains uh, should open uh, higher here this morning. Corn, a uh, couple things uh, going on there. The big factor is going to be technical if we can take out 373 in the uh, July contract I think that's uh, critical there and then uh, move uh, then the, the possibly we could go up to as high as 385 in the uh, in the July contract without uh, much uh, uh, problem just because there isn't much resistance above the market at that point uh, support crosses at around 362 in the July contract. Other factors is export sales was uh, released here this morning, uh, 1 to 1.3 million metric tons is what the trade was looking for. It came out at 857. China was a net buyer last week of about uh, 53,000 tons or one cargo, but what they did was move some of the new crop purchases into the old crop purchases uh, from 131 was canceled the new crop uh, they moved that to, to 241 in the old crop so uh, could be uh, supportive there down the road as they are indicating they need corn uh, to stop that inflation and the rise of corn prices in china uh, cargill actually sold 55,000 tons of corn to south korea so that uh, uh, is news out here this morning. We expect uh, a higher trade with uh, some tough resistance uh, above the market here as uh, fundamental news. Weather especially is ideal and conducive to corn growth at this point in time. In the uh, soybeans, uh, expect a higher market there as well. We've got resistance there at 945 and then again at uh, the 982 level in the July. The support crosses underneath this week's low at 928. Uh, some of the fundamental news, uh, China markets were stronger overnight and supported there uh, basically by the weather. Uh, cold weather is still a problem in China even though they've got the beans planted. They are uh, very concerned about that uh, uh, the abnormally cold weather and the beans getting off to a, a decent start. The uh, export sales on beans were uh, a bit negative here this morning. They were expecting 450 to 650, came in at uh, 295, so uh, not a, uh, a positive export number at all. Over in the wheat, uh, there was some wheat exports, export sales last night, 131,000 tons to Japan. Uh, the uh, Export sales for last week was positive. They were looking for 350 to 450. Came in at 486. So uh, it's been a few weeks since we've seen anything positive in the uh, the wheat market, uh, and uh, we're seeing some uh, some support there this morning. On the charts, we've got uh, support at 456 in the July, resistance at 476. We need a, a close above that 476 area to give us uh, any kind of follow through. Downtrend is uh, still intact there. In the cattle trade, cash markets have been quiet uh, in the south. The uh, bids have been 93 to 93 and a half. There's been some cattle trade. Uh, at that level, uh, Texas still has uh, got a lot of cattle to move yet this week. Uh, cutout values were down yesterday. Select uh, was down 124. Choice was down 68. It's still uh, showing some weakness there, but uh, 
hopes of uh, better prices in the cattle trade simply by looking at the outside markets. The, the stock market has given us an indication here that, uh, and we expect that that will uh, provide some support, change of attitude possibly in the uh, cattle complex as uh, we've had some very sharp breaks over the last several days, uh, a consolidation and even a, a rally uh, would be very likely and the market's oversold so uh, we're looking for any kind of a setback here uh, and weakness in that market as a possible buying opportunity risking uh, below contract low or below the recent lows that we've seen here this week in the pork trade uh, news there that russia agrees to the uh, poultry deal uh, to buy u.s uh, poultry again uh, it needs to be confirmed by the u.s now and the uh, date of when they when we expect uh, uh, poultry to start moving to Russia again has not been uh, set but uh, it looks like they agreed to terms and that uh, could be positive to the pork uh, cutout values however were down slightly yesterday uh, technical action on the charts uh, look positive if we can get above this 8212 area in the uh, June contract, I think that could uh, convert to some uh, positive activity and some more buying kick in in the uh, in the pork complex. So uh, it still is going to boil down to what's the outside markets doing, what's the stock market doing, because that uh, definitely impacts uh, commodity traders at the Mercantile Exchange. So those are things to watch. Keep in touch with the Allendale Research Department. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, call your broker. We'll uh, We'll get in contact with the uh, the right people here. Uh, we uh, we wish you a very successful trading date, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.